Okay. <laughs> there it is. Uh, people wanted my take on this. Uh, I heard this story before, or I saw it recently on Twitter or something. Uh, we briefly mentioned it before. Like, have we? Yeah, quickly we mentioned so, it. Macklemore's the... Who is Macklemore? This guy. Thrift he did shop. the thrift store song. Yep. Does he have any other big songs? Yeah, the, nope. when I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay. Same oh, the, love? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, but he's not. I think it's called gay in third grade. I don't, he's not gay, oh, wait, no. so he But he a, does begin the song that way. Oh, we gotta add him to the collection. Oh, so, so true! I'm another, gay. Wait, he's not gay? Actually, I'm not. <laughs> so he said, no, only in the third grade he thought he was gay. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Oh. But that's Weird. because he kept his room neat and his clothes straight or something like that. That's Good pretty gay, bro. I don't know, you should do another gay test. Turned him gay. Yeah. Find out. <laughs> To take another test. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and he's not Jewish, is he? He is not. Okay, so, he played his show, dressed up <laughs> like this. Mm hmm Which, I mean, he's trying to claim it's not a Jewish stereotype. I mean, that's straight out of, like, Nazi propaganda <laughs> pamphlet. Looks like my great uncle Seamus. So why were people asking you for your take on this? Because this is, like, a decade old. I'm not sure why. I saw it on, I think it was getting it a blew lot up of, on Twitter. It just like somehow came back up recently. Oh, he, See, this happened yeah. in 2014. Wait, but he just posted an apology. What? After all these years? I guess because it started going viral. Wait, it says. Teen. It, hold on. It says he posted an apology. His apology on his website, but I don't see it. If you scroll down, it's on tw Twitter. Um, 14. Oh, no, no. That's when he was trying to say that it wasn't. Stereotypical. Let me see. In his apology, he says, I wasn't attempting to mimic any culture nor represent one. A Jewish stereotype never crossed my mind. You know, he's looking really blue. I think I actually know exactly what he was trying to do here. This is, honestly, in a, in a sense, it's so insane. Is it possible he's telling the truth? Because, like, it's so fucking insane. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm feeling I, like Gonzo. I, I'm sticking up for Macklemore here. I think he was doing a Gonzo cosplay. I like that theory. Yeah. But I think you know it's what all I mean? good, like, dude. To go out as like a Jewish stereotype of a na Nazi pamphlet, it's so crazy <laughs> that the idea of doing this willingly, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's hard to imagine that it, he says, out of a negative <laughs> came positive. Through this situation, I've got hip to some hip. I've got hip to some incredible groups like the ADL. Nah, he's a, he did it. You know what always makes me feel that way is when I go back and I see. Do you remember when Julianne Huff dressed up for Halloween as one of the Orange is the, the New Black characters, and she literally went in blackface? Mm. Oh my! Hold on. I haven't. I don't remember. Every time I see it, I'm like, how the fuck did anyone let this happen? Yo, Olivia, by the way, rip uh, to Len Goodman from Dancing with the Stars. Really? Yeah, he died. Oh my God, R.A.P. Shout out. In third grade, I thought that I was Jewish. <laughs> That's rough, man. Glad you grew up. <laughs> I <that>. identified as <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> uh, Seth Rogen called him out. He said, Macklemore, first you trick people into thinking you're a rapper. Now you trick them into ah. thinking you're Jewish. Oh, shit. Got him. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. The pile on from... Imagine if Seth Hootie and the Blowfish sparked a hundred think pieces on racial appropriation. <laughs> You might get a sense of just where Mac resides in our pop culture landscape. <laughs> wow. Mac tweeted this out. Macklemore, a fake witch's nose, wig, and beard equal random costume. Not my idea of a stereotype of anybody. Yeah. Uh, bro. What the fuck, dude? Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's so insane. <laughs> it's so insane. <laughs> That's why part of me is like, e uh, either you're horribly, dysfunctionally, almost uh, incomprehensibly dumb, mm -hmm. or you're like a Nazi. <laughs> it could be the former. I don't know much about Macklemore. Was... Maybe... He played Thrift Store, his only song. Uh... His only song. <laughs> I, I added that. <laughs> he has a song called White Privilege. Uh, it's an honest, earnest examination of what it means to be a white guy aiming for success in a medium associated with black folks. 
or a cynical attempt to preempt criticism that he's a white guy aiming for success in a medium associated with black folks. The, the first line is, yeah, yeah. Uh, in third grade, I thought that I was black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he Apparently, just keeps using the same line. <laughs> <laughs> he starts every song like that. Uh, he texted Kendrick Lamar after he bested him for a Grammy. What the fuck did I just read? Yeah, yeah, you don't remember that? That was he very him. it over. Mac Lamar beat, Ke- I beat think Kendrick Lamar. Wasn't it? What album? Pimp a Butterfly too. No, like that was the one before. Oh, it was Good, Good Kid, Kid Mad, Mad City. City. Good yeah. Kid Mad City is also hailed to be like yeah, I mean, one of the best albums ever. Definitely better than ever. the Macklemore album for sure. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, the Grammys are always fucking up like that. That's no surprise. Wait, they suck. Wait. Mac Lamar <laughs> beat Kendrick Lamar. That's indeed. For best rap album. Yeah. What did he text Kendrick Lamar? It was he like said, an apology for winning. Yeah, he said much. you got robbed. Uh, you should have won. It's weird wait, and sucks that I robbed you. Wait, who leaked okay, this well, text? He probably did. Probably him. Yeah, Mac Lamar. Posted Look at this. this. Kendrick Real. Yeah, right. Somebody. Delete that. You don't have Ken- Kendrick would never give you his number. <laughs> you got robbed. I wanted you to win. You should have. It's weird and sucks that I robbed you. I was going to say that during the speech. Then the music started playing during my speech and I froze. Anyway, you know what it is. Congrats on this year and your music. Appreciate the artist and his friend. Well, assuming that is real, I mean, that is a nice thing to send. Um, he posted it on his Instagram. Then posting it for he wow. posted it right. It's yeah, because he yeah because he was private. he was getting shit and although it's not his fault he didn't do the votes it is insane like it's actually nauseatingly fucking like a condemnation of the entire music industry and so he was probably catching a lot of shit online. He but definitely was. The yeah. fact that he posted this is pretty wild. Just post a message. Don't post your text to him, dummy, weirdo, freak, anti semite. <laughs> Nazi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Mac uh, Lamore hole. Drake, I guess, called him out after the fact, saying that the apology was whack. Oh, yeah. Drake. Yeah. In a new interview with Rolling Stones, Drake called Mac R- Mac D- Mac Lamore <laughs> over his apology. He called it whack as shit or fuck Drake, Drake, and cheap. Drake, Drake, I was like, you won. Why are you posting your text message? Just chill. Take your W. And if you feel you didn't deserve it, go get better. Make better music. Drake told the magazine it felt cheap. It didn't feel genuine. Cool, Drake. I, I mean, Drizzy. First of all, Drake. Yeah. It's, Drake, Drake. Not that I disagree with you, but uh, why don't you Mind work on that better music uh, <laughs> suggestion? <laughs> He's got good bops, though. I can't hate on Drake. Does he? Does Drake have like Barbies? Does he, he didn't. He doesn't have that level of support from his fans, does he? Oh, like like Barb. Oh, you mean Barb? Yeah. <laughs> Barb. Um, uh, I don't. Only uh, academics. That's the only one that I think is. That. My top five is Drake. 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 <laughs> He's an army of one man. I've seen a couple of them. They call themselves uh, Poppy's Angels. Ew. No, nasty. That's awful. That's so but disgusting. they're few. They're few and far between. No kidding. Okay. Just like in the real Charlie's Angels, there's uh, seven of them, or I don't know, three of them. Yeah, <laughs> Poppy's Angels. Cool. That's, I, I'm frankly um, horrified by this though. Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid, Mad City, widely held to be one of the best rap albums of all time. I can't believe you don't remember because this it was a huge controversy. I vaguely time. remember it, and yeah. it's, but I haven't thought about it in so long, you know. That's stunning. That's stunning to me. Stunning. He should retire after that. But now he's going to go on the stage just like a fucking... Oh, people are pointing out that Drake's Jewish. Maybe that's why he was so triggered. Mm, interesting. Mm. Okay. We like Drake for that. So there that is. Uh, you guys wanted my take, and there it is. There it is. On this 10-year-old trauma. <laughs>